During the Second World War, the Third Reich used concentration camps to carry out horrific acts of murder and depravity. There were many guards who worked inside of the camps, and members of staff who after the conflict were executed for their brutality. There were thousands of members of the SS who were complicit in the mass murder of millions, but a shockingly low number of war criminals were ever brought to trial. Inside of the Nazi regime, Hitler and his government sought to massacre and exterminate those who the Nazis regarded as inferior and as a burden to Nazi society. They did this in many different ways, with the most common methods of killing being the gas chambers or shooting. Gas chambers were used inside of concentration camps, and millions of innocent people were tricked into going into them, believing they were having a shower. Also, shooting was used by the Einsatzgruppen, the Nazi death squads, to massacre civilians after advancements were made by the German army. The Nazi death squads were responsible for millions of killings, and still today many of their crimes have not been uncovered. But inside of many concentration camps, there was an execution facility which was used to conduct scores of killings of Soviet prisoners of war and many other people. Join us today as we look at the Genitschussenlager, or the Net Shooting Facility. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. When the Nazis opened the concentration camps, they must have worked out that one day they would become instrumental to the mass killing of the Holocaust. They opened up many different camps, with the largest death complex being Auschwitz, where over one million people were killed within the barbed wire fences. Buchenwald Concentration Camp was opened in July 1937, and it was one of the first and largest of the concentration camps within Germany. Prisoners came here from all over Europe, and in particular the Soviet Union, as the fighting on the Eastern Front continued following the German invasion of the Union, codenamed Operation Barbarossa. There were Jews, Polish prisoners and other people from the Balkans, housed inside Buchenwald, as well as physically and mentally ill people. At Buchenwald, 280,000 people would pass through the gates of the camp, and over 56,000 were killed inside. The Genick Schussenlager, or the Neck Shooting Facility, was the official name of a facility found inside of Buchenwald concentration camp and other sites across the Third Reich. It was a facility used for surprise executions, in which the victims would be tricked into going to the execution chamber, and they would not know where they were going. The Nazis used this deceit to carry out much of their killings inside of the camps. But whilst inside the room, the victim was placed in a position where they were then shot from behind. Through a hole in the wall, often which led to a neighbouring room, the executioners would fire a bullet into the neck of the victim. The surprise element of the execution was key for the Nazis, and the facilities were usually equipped with a number of devices which could help the facade. For example, inside the execution chamber was height measuring devices or other instruments. With this, a prisoner would be told to stand under the height measuring device before their height would be taken. The prisoner under the measuring device would then fix the height themselves, but behind them was an opening in the wall where an executioner would be stood with his gun pointed through. These execution facilities were used across many different camps and were used to carry out death sentences and also to massacre large groups. After the shot would ring out, the guards would then take the body out of a back entrance and it would be taken to the camp's crematoria to be burned. In particular at Buchenwald, following 1941, the next shooting facility was used to execute mostly Soviet prisoners of war. They had been transported to Buchenwald with the only reason is to kill and execute them. These prisoners were brought from other concentration camps and were then taken to a former horse stable. This had been converted into what looked like a medical examination room, where Soviet POWs were convinced that they were going to have a medical exam before being allowed access into the camp. The Soviet POWs were then placed in front of the measuring device, which was attached to the wall, as mentioned earlier, before they were then measured. However, this was nothing and of no use, when through a hole in the wall, they would be executed by gunshot. The Nazis even went to the lengths as to paint the floor brown, to make sure that new prisoners did not see the bloodstains, and to hide the fact it was an execution chamber. They did not want the next prisoner and victim to know what was happening. The prisoners were brought to Buchenwald purely for their execution, which was planned to take place immediately. Because of this, they were not even admitted into the camp, were not given numbers or even recorded on the camp's records. The execution chamber in this camp 
and the next shooting facility claimed the lives of 8,000 Soviet prisoners of war, but throughout the Third Reich, other next shooting facilities did exist. But what was shocking about the next shooting facility was the deceit and the lengths that the Nazis went to trick prisoners into their deaths. This would also happen with the gas chambers, as prisoners were told they were going to have a shower, but they would never get out. The next shooting facility was practically a firing range, in which a lone executioner would fire straight into a target from close range, killing them immediately. Thousands were executed in this way, and today it's considered a forgotten part of the Second World War and the concentration camps. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.